You can kind of guide by using the screams. Let me save before something goes horribly wrong. <laughs> Detecting stern of an astronautical Soltrans go vessel nearby. Vessel name, Mercury 2. Inoperative. All right. Naturally, it is inoperative. But it is a vessel and it is worth exploring. I could go down below, but I kind of want to keep up here where I'm still maneuverable. Oh, when we get those beacon things, that means something, something good is close. Is that part of a ship? Man, I don't know, but we are starting to see some weird stuff. There is a large anomalous mass of rock that has broken away and risen above the surrounding terrain. Anomalous mass of rock. Sure. I have no idea what you're talking about. Uh, there's a shark over there. Let's explore the area a bit. Warning. Maximum depth reached. Hull damage imminent. Alright, alright. I'm sorry. Oh, yes. And as about... As we are about to be crushed, finally... Jesus Christ, that took a long time searching. A ship right in front of my face. Excellent. Let's find a way in. Man, there are these shark things all around. Are you kidding me? Oh, this is making me so anxious. No, 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 no. Leave me be. Leave me be. Oh, run. All right, let's find an entrance to this thing. Oh, this is not a game for the faint of heart. It's a bit less scary than the first Subnautica as we find an entrance. Excellent. Because there is more lighting and whatnot. But damn. Creatures are still scary. Right, I'm gonna park it in here just because I want to... Oh, hold on. Wow, that is a prawn suit fragment. Give me that. I'm parking it here just to make sure that these uh, shark things do not get me. Prawn suit, yes. How many do we need to unlock it, I wonder? Cut open to access. Oh, now we're gonna need to... Use my laser cutter. What do we get? Reactor rod. Yeah, I don't know. Don't care too much about that. Or maybe I should, who knows? But usually some things you find inside these kind of caches are not important. Can I scan this as well? Thank you, yes. How many do we need to get a prawn suit? Two out of four. All right. And the drill arms. Man, there's a lot of things to find in this ship. Alright, we can cut through this. This is why we brought the laser cutter. Man, this is agonizingly slow, by the way. It's like the first game. Your oxygen is going down and you're patiently waiting. For the laser cutter to do its job. Come on, laser cutter. Jesus Christ. We are running out of oxygen here. You know what? I'm gonna go quickly back. Get some oxygen. Excellent. Breathe. And now let's go back and explore. See what's on the other side. Alright, metal no metal salvage, I don't care about that. There's a whole other room though. With stuff in it. No metal salvage, come on. A second door. There's a lot of things. Right, I'm gonna cut this one open. It seems like all we do is open sealed doors. <laughs> The good thing is, if there is two sealed doors already, that means there's something important in here. Only problem is I have no idea what it is and what to look for. Oh, hello. Nuclear reactor fragment. Sure, why not? 
I'm probably never gonna use that, as was the case in the first game. Yeah, cut open. A PDE. I'm alive. Stefano saved me. The Mercury attempted an emergency takeoff and everything seemed fine. I was helping the bridge crew with the emergency takeoff since the crew is, well, was shorthanded because of everything. I heard the sound of metal tearing and for a split second, everything was tinged bright green and unbearably hot. Then I saw daylight and I was looking down at the ocean and ice. The strongest wind I've ever felt roared in my ears, ripping through the ship. People went flying out the side of the Mercury, so much screaming and chaos. I was lucky. I had just clipped into my sea tinker. Stephanos came out of nowhere, like a malaika, an angel. I felt his rough, calloused hand grasp mine with the gentlest of urgency. It felt like time slowed, he said. I gotcha. Just follow me, Ella. I don't know how. But he used an emergency tether to drag me to the nuclear reactor core, the strongest bulkhead in the ship. We hit the water and everything went black. <sighs> He's sleeping. I think he might have hit his head. I'm exhausted. The adrenaline has long since worn off and my body aches. I think I might have fractured the rib. I'm gonna shut my eyes for a bit. When I wake up, I'll figure this out. I'll save us. All right, interesting. So aside from all the drama going on with this ship here, and Jasmine and Stephanus almost uh, saving themselves and hooking up, I think, in the process, <laughs> uh, I have to point this out. Stephanus is a Greek name, and Malaika is very, very close, extremely close to a Greek swear word. So I don't know if the, uh, if the developers are kind of poking some sneaky fun in here. In any case, uh, let's not use that anymore i'm not finding anything too interesting though and damn it i'm running out of oxygen now where is this vent going oh man i do not like vents oh hold on that is glowing parallel processing unit fragment fascinating have no idea what it does. Some ribbon plants and things. Oh, I need air. I'm going back. This is so claustrophobic. <laughs> oh, where is my exit? Man, I'm panicking. There is another room here that I can cut open, but next time. Ah, oh, there is my exit. Right. Oh man, and I'm outside now? <laughs> oh, what is my thing? My sea truck. Man, I'm so confused. <laughs> oh, I hate shipwrecks. I wish I had the tank upgrade. Like the ultra capacity one. But I'm gonna keep exploring. I'll keep you guys posted if I find anything cool. Oh, another PDA. Oh man, oh man, oh man. This is every xenolinguist's dream. <sighs> I mean, I was helping with the planetary scans, and there are possible unknown structures on the surface. This could set my career up for life. The images are a little degraded coming through the atmosphere, but it looks like intentional and complex architecture, <laughs> which means civilization, and civilization means <laughs> dun -dun -dun -dun, language. Oh, Man, and now most of the crew wants to get home. I, I understand that, but this could be a defining discovery. I'm definitely going to put a bug in Diana's ear about going to the surface so I can take a team to explore. I desperately hope this pans out. Oh, I can't wait till we get into communication range with Soul again. Layla and the kids would love to hear this. I mean, it's rough being away from them so long, but this might just make it worth it. I'll be able to give him so much more. No, man, such a tragic message.
Always fun to read, I desperately hope this pans out, and then you find that message in a, uh, in a ship wreckage. <laughs> I guess it didn't pan out, I'm, I'm afraid, I'm sorry. Ah, what do you get? So many PDAs, Jesus Christ. Soul should pay me more to lead these missions. I saved the whole damn crew from destruction. Mercury 2 was nearly obliterated by an immensely powerful energy beam. I don't know any weapon system with that level of capability. The power source to get that kind of range must be, well, otherworldly. We got lucky. The energy signature is similar to some of the weaponry meant to counter pirates on mining freighters. The refraction of the beam across the atmosphere? Ryan's belt. It looked like the Northern Lights. Such power. I fired the emergency flares and dumped water from the nuclear core. I think the heat signature confused the weapons tracking for just an instant. I managed a slight evasive maneuver and I felt the mercury get rocked by the sonic boom as the nuclear runoff rapidly evaporated. That alone could have taken us out. Definitely asking for a pay raise. This is not what I signed up for. My days of risky missions should be behind me. Eh, but what the hell. I still got it. Even if it was luck. Hopefully, whatever didn't want us on the planet doesn't mind when we leave. Yep, even if it was luck, even though, get, judging from this ship wreckage, Diana could have used some more luck, I guess. Oh well. And wouldn't you know it even more, PDAs? We need to get off this planet. I mean, the morning started off so well. I took a team of six out to find the structures from the planetary scans, and we were all in high spirits. I mean, who wouldn't be? These structures would be clues to another sentient race. <laughs> it was highly unlikely that another colony would be out this far. We were going to be in the freaking history books. <laughs> Everything was going okay. We were a few miles from the ship when our radios picked up an actual signal. It sounded like an SOS. We got overly excited, naturally, and decided to enter the water to follow it. <sighs> that decision cost three lives. I mean, half my team, they got ripped to shreds by something. They died screaming, alone in the cold, dark waters. I, I'm not going back in that godforsaken ocean again. I, I refuse. And some of the animals on this planet, they look sick, too. Weird pustules on the skin, oddly sluggish. I think we should leave. But Diana said we should stay. She thinks the bio patent payoffs will be worth it, but those families will never see their loved ones again. They don't care about no payoffs. We, we can't return the bodies. I don't care about the accolades or the history books. I just want to see Layla and the kids. Ah, oh, man. I miss the smell of my wife's hair. The kids tackling me at the door again. That's all I want. To get out of here alive. Please. Oh well. You didn't get your wish either. Man, we are starting to piece things together. Even though, if you've played like the first game, you kind of know what's going on. I mean, these guys obviously met some Leviathans. Yeah, and if you meet a Leviathan, that's probably the last thing you do. <laughs> Oh well, and they have some uh, some sickness. We know that from the first game as well. It's probably the Kara virus. These postules that this guy is talking about. In any case, let's go back to uh, I guess finding more logs from dead people. Reinforced suit fragment. Yes, give me that. Love that. All right, next PDA. Well, we landed safely. Despite my apprehension, Diana, damned adrenaline junkie, took one of her defining risks and paid off. Why hire me as the maintenance engineering officer if you aren't going to listen to that advice? <laughs> ah, Papa. I didn't go to school for eight years and get three degrees for nothing. I tried to convince Diana that we don't need to stop for repairs. That's what the drift drive and the secondary propulsion system are for. Just a bit slower, but she's in charge. Not me. 
On the plus side, I get to work with Yasmin. I didn't know she was such a busybody. She's been going around the whole ship giving folks a hand. I think she was getting on Diana's nerves, so she assigned Yasmin to me. She's helping me inspect and repair the thruster systems. I thought I was the most mechanically inclined person on the ship, but I think she has me beat. She can definitely teach me a thing or two. As long as I don't get too distracted by her smile. <sighs> She's got the best smile. <laughs> Stefanos loves Yasmin. <laughs> ah, it's funny seeing another Greek character. By the way, Apapa. <laughs> Nobody says that anymore in Greece, unless you're, I don't know, a hundred years old. Kind of means no, 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 but oh well. <laughs> in any case, let's go find more logs, I guess. Oh, water filtration machine, yes. I'm gonna use that. I did overuse it in the first uh, in the first game. That manufactures water and salt. And obviously all I care about is the salt. <laughs> no, not really. Oh, there's something in there. We need to find that vent that leads to that. Yeah, it's not here. It's gotta be somewhere from the other side to my left. Oh, I found it. Ah, let's go. Ah, let's quickly cut this open. Man, I mean, I have no idea what these things are that we're finding in here. But they must be important if we're going through all this trouble to get them. Alright, scan this. Alright, two out of three. I'm guessing there's only one left to go. Let's go back for oxygen though, that is even more important. Man, I swear to God, I've searched everything. I cannot find that third thing. I'm gonna have to, uh, I don't know. Maybe I've, I'll even look it up online. Maybe I'll cheat a bit. <laughs> I don't know, but this ship. Man, I've been here for an hour. I cannot find anything. I guess let's go someplace else. Hold on. Yeah, that looks like... That is another ship. Ah, oh, damn it. How many of them are there? Oh, well. Oh, shoot. <laughs> Let's be careful of the vents. I don't want to get roasted in these. All right, we're going to park it in here. And hey, who knows? Maybe we can find more of these uh, thingies that we're missing. What are they even called? I can't remember. I've been searching for them so long, I kind of forgot the name of the thing we're searching for. <laughs> I'll know it when I see it, though. Alright. This door must be protecting something important, I hope. Ah, it's so agonizingly slow, come on. Ah, this is why I hate drowning games. They make you work for it as well. Ah, we got oh, finally, yes. Yes, thank you, Jesus. <laughs> Parallel processing unit. It's been so long that I kind of forgot what it was called. <laughs> Alright, give me whatever. And, uh, I don't know. I don't think I care about anything else in here. Maybe we'll uh, we'll find some logs and whatnot, but I'm betting this was the most important thing. Laser cutter? No, why am I scanning that? <laughs> oh, and another one of these box things? Hold on. 
I mean, I've already found three out of three things, haven't I? Parallel processing units? Maybe there's more of them. Yeah, probably. Devs build in some redundancies just in case, you know, people do not find the original three, and that should be the case. Excellent. Nice. So we've even got a spare one. Ha! I'm very pro. I get in some drinking waters and whatnot, and I think we should go out of here. Yes, I've been long enough in this place. <laughs> oh man, I've been so close to drowning a lot of times. Jesus Christ. Ah, let's get in and get back home. I have no idea what this is about, though. We kind of risked our necks, and I have no idea what this was about. Parallel processing unit. Sure. Whatever. Now, can I back this out now? This is literally like driving a truck. <laughs> Maybe we could explore this biome a bit more. Let's see. What is down here? I mean, I have a depth module that allows me to go very far down. We might as well use it. Oh, shoot. That is too close. That is too close. Get away from me. Right, there's a whole different biome down here. But unfortunately, I do not have the depth module, damn it. Yeah, we need to manufacture the next depth module. We need to be able to go below 300 meters in order to find out. Oh, shoot. <laughs> Get away from that guy. Jesus Christ. I'm cutting it close. Oh, wow. <laughs> they are everywhere. Save me. Oh, yes, yes. I'm going. I'm going. I'm going. I'm going. I know. I know. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, no, he ate me. Ugh. Oh, he keeps eating me, come on. Let me be, damn it. Oh, all right, I'm gonna go back home, damn it. I need some food. I need to get away from these guys. Ah, oh, there he goes again. I swear to God, if we make this alive, out alive, <laughs> I'm never leaving my home again. Until the next episode, probably. <laughs> oh man, I cannot bear this. The screams in my ear. This is the worst region ever. Probably until I meet the Leviathans again. We haven't seen a single Leviathan and already I'm kind of scared to death here. <laughs> oh, in any case, let's go back home. Regroup. I'll have some fish and whatnot, some waters. And I guess we'll be back in the next episode for more. Jesus Christ, look at these guys. Ah, uh, for more Shaken getting needlessly scared by them, I guess. <laughs> Alright, thanks for watching, folks. I'll catch you in the next one. And as with the previous episode, let me actually play back a log for you so we can flesh out the story. We are here, first of all, for the architects. I guess that's the main story of the game. But also, we are trying to find out what happened to Sam and her sister. Let's go ahead and listen to the entry number three, I guess. Hey, Robin. I got your Augie photo. Thanks so much for taking care of him, even though he's a cranky potato. Hey, the nickname actually fits that way. A cranky potato. I know he can be a handful, but I really appreciate it. I'm a bit worried about my other baby, the mission. One of my penguins found something, something big. But Altera is just like, Nothing to see here. Honestly, kind of glad you can't answer so you can't, you know, rub it in my face. Go ahead, bask in the fact that you were a little bit right about them. My project is on the line. My job, my safety. Um, I heard about Xenoworks getting bought. Sorry, but at least you still have your job. Guess you're one of us now. Like it or not, welcome to the Altera family. I, I should probably go before I say something I regret. Love you. Keep your chin up. Eye on the alien prize.